Hey there, you look like you could use some good news. Well, welcome back to the Together NJ podcast. I'm Libby Cardone from the NJ.com newsroom, here with a bonus episode full of feel-good stories about an assisted living concert, amazing food relief, and a daring tropical storm rescue. Now let's get to the good stuff. Brandywine Living Princeton, an assisted living residence in South Brunswick Township, recently hosted a concert. And guess what? It rocked. Paul Gall, 69, and Ed Backerman, 92, the facility's resident guitarists, each performed some of their favorite songs for the other residents, all socially distant, of course. Rock on, you guys. Check out more of this story by clicking on the link in our bio. Nork's Food Relief Program and the school district's Breakfast and Lunch Program have delivered nearly 2 million meals to city residents since the coronavirus pandemic began in March. The city has delivered 1,063,213, to be exact, meals, and Nork Public Schools have delivered close to 1 million meals to Nork Housing Authority residents, senior citizens, residents without addresses, and homeless people. This is such an incredible silver lining in a dark time. Read more about the good that continues to happen by heading over to nj.com slash togethernj. We were all nervous over the power of Tropical Storm ECES, and Morris County resident Greg Ramirez found himself very freaked out. His vigilance proved to be justified because in the middle of the storm, a huge tree crashed into his home, knocking out the power and surrounding Ramirez and his children in a flurry of debris. For a moment, it seemed to be the end. He had grabbed his son, but his daughter Mia was nowhere to be found, buried under the rubble. Greg feared the worst, but after a moment, he found her little hand sticking out and pulled her to safety. Thank goodness everyone in the Ramirez family is safe. You can read more about their story by clicking the link in our bio. Two New Jersey high school seniors placed in the top five in a prestigious national science and math competition and, oh yeah, took home thousands of dollars in awards for their creations. It happened in this year's Regeneron Science Talent Search and Jagdeep Bhatia of Green Book took home the second place prize, while Anaya Thomas of Teaneck took home fifth place. This is seriously impressive. These kids had to compete against 2,000 entries, submitting original research in critically important science fields. Wow. Congrats to these science whiz kids. Michael Petrain is a rising Pennington School sophomore that is putting his talents to an incredible use. The 16-year-old has been out on the street once a month since April, orchestrating small sidewalk concerts on his piano. He even performed under a pop-up tent once the weather was too hot. But hey, the show must go on. Thank you for bringing such a welcome distraction, Michael. Well, my mood has definitely improved. How about you? Be sure to subscribe to this podcast for more stories of how we're keeping it together, New Jersey. Join us next time. And until then, check in on all our great stories at nj.com slash together nj. And hey, if you're enjoying these feel good stories, then maybe consider supporting our local journalism during this important time. You can head over to nj.com slash supporter to sign up today. Again, that's nj.com slash supporter. Thanks. I'm Libby Cardone, and until next time, stay positive, Jersey.